Hello, my name is Taylor Blazina, and I am a student midwife, doula, and EMT in Ellensburg, Washington. In today's presentation, we will be discussing the six facets of holistic health, as well as discussing holistic health resources available in Kittitas County. Currently in the United States, when a person has an ailment, they go to their doctor or to an emergency room, where they are treated using allopathic means. They are evaluated, and the body system that is presented, ill or injured, is then treated with the means necessary to heal that designated area. This varies drastically from the beliefs of holistic health. When a person's health is evaluated from a holistic standpoint, the wellness of the body in its entirety must be taken into account. This includes physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional well-being. The reasons behind this is because all facets of our body are interconnected and affected by each other. Optimal health and wellness cannot be achieved unless the body is operating in true homeostasis. Let's take a look at each of the health facets that make up holistic health and a supporting resource available for each of these facets in Kittitas County. Our first facet of holistic health is physical well-being. We each have a body that is responsible for keeping us alive and in motion. It is important to maintenance our body on a routine basis to keep it running smoothly and efficiently. According to Chinese philosophy, all life forms have a vital energy called qi. Qi circulates through the body in 14 distinct pathways or meridians that transverse the entire length of the body. One meridian will connect to the next, forming a continuous loop of energy. Each meridian is associated with an internal organ. The meridians lie on the superficial aspect of the body, just below the skin at the meridian's starting points, and move deeper into the body as the meridians meet to connect with their companion meridian. There are distinct portals or entry points located along the meridian pathways called acupoints. Each acupoint has a distinct effect on the meridian and therefore the internal organ associated with that meridian. When inserted in the proper location, acupuncture needles act as a switch, adding or deleting chi, otherwise known as energy, from the body. During pregnancy, the human body is rapidly changing and is now supporting two individuals instead of just one. This puts stress and strain on the body and it is important to help the body through the taxing process of childbearing. Acupuncture provides beneficial reduction in symptoms for the following conditions. Acid reflux, anxiety, back pain, chronic fatigue syndrome, constipation, depression, diarrhea, digestive disorders, heartburn, infertility, insomnia, joint pain, migraine headache, and pain management. These are symptoms that are commonly experienced in pregnancy and can have great relief when using acupuncture to treat. Middle Path Acupuncture has been serving the Kittitas County since 2008. Their mission is to promote health and harmony in their patients' lives through alternative medical practices such as acupuncture, Eastern medicine, and massage therapy. They have offices in both Ellensburg and Cleelum and are available by phone call to make an appointment. The second facet to holistic health is mental well-being. Our brains house our thoughts and our memories, and like every part of our body, it gets worn out from continuous use. It is important that the brain gets the support it needs to continue operating optimally. While our physical body is able to receive direct contact, the parts of our body that house our mental state are found internally. One way to reach these internal pathways is through a practice called Reiki. Reiki is a form of complementary therapy relating to energy healing. Reiki works with the energy fields around the body and involves the transfer of universal energy from the practitioner's palms to the client. During the childbearing year, it is just as important to support your mental well-being as it is your physical well-being. 
As the body grows and adapts to the baby growing inside of it, your mental state is affected by the changing hormones as well as the social shift that takes place while preparing for a child. Reiki can support pregnancy by easing pregnancy symptoms, reducing mental fatigue, and helping by strengthening the bond between the birther and the baby. Divine Wellness and Relaxation has been serving Kittitas County since 2014. They offer a variety of services such as massage, Reiki, reflexology, yoga, hypnotherapy, chakra balancing, and sound therapy. They are available to schedule appointments by phone as well as through their website. Have you ever felt sad without being able to explain why? Do you find that occasionally you wake up feeling physically and mentally drained for so many reasons that you can't even begin to explain? This is your emotional health trying to tell you that it's in need of some extra help. The third facet of holistic health is your emotional well-being. As our mental being processes what our brain has received, it creates feelings and emotions surrounding what it is processing. Positive emotions are easy for our mental being to accept and process, but negative emotions can be much harder to process and accept, and sometimes it may require additional help and resources for us to figure out how to process the negative. Meeting with a psychologist can be incredibly helpful when needing to deeper understand why our bodies have created these emotions and how to process them and digest them in a productive manner. It may seem as though we as humans are experts at understanding our health, but the human body is complex and we are not born with the knowledge of understanding our bodies. We must discover how they function over the course of our lives. As our mental and physical well-being increases in activity due to pregnancy, our emotional well-being becomes taxed. Therapy sessions with a psychologist can be helpful for expectant birthers and parents who are facing postpartum concerns address the variety of taxations and emotional strains and stressors in their lives that pregnancy and childbirth create or exacerbate. Ryder DeFranco, a licensed therapist in Ellensburg, Washington, offers therapy services with a specialty in pregnancy and postpartum emotional support. Here is her website as well as her phone number if you are interested in learning more about what she has to offer. The fourth facet of holistic health is environmental health. An individual can live a very clean and healthy lifestyle, but if the environment that they reside in isn't clean, then their health will be negatively impacted. It is the job of each community member to do their part in keeping the environment that they live in clean. This can look like picking up garbage off of the ground, using environmentally friendly products in your soils, making sure that the water doesn't get contaminated, and so on. There are a number of organizations in Kittitas County that work on making sure that our environment stays clean, one of them being the Student Leadership Involvement and Community Engagement Group, otherwise known as SLICE. SLICE is a volunteer group based from Central Washington University that organizes community service events that are open to the community to join with the goal of positively impacting the community. One of the most popular volunteer events that is set up by SLICE is the annual Yakima River Cleanup. If you are interested in helping out at a local community service event, don't hesitate to reach out to CWU Slice Group through their website. The fifth facet of holistic health is social well-being. Whether you consider yourself to be introverted or extroverted, we as humans rely on social interaction and connection for our overall well-being. For some, this might look like sitting in a coffee shop, enjoying the presence of others around you. Or for others, this might look like getting together at a party or meeting new people at a work function. The important part of social interaction is to share similarities and differences with each other and be able to ask for help when life's burdens become too much to handle individually. This is especially important when pregnant and during the postpartum period 
because pregnancy and birth are too much to take on individually. A large contributor to pregnancy complications is stress. Stress can easily be caused by the feeling of isolation. In order to avoid this during pregnancy, it is crucial to maintain a social life that fulfills your own personal needs. This is especially important in regards to staying healthy during pregnancy. Ellensburg is notorious for pregnant individuals suffering from low platelet levels during the gestational period, and it is suspected to be from environmental causes. Downtown Ellensburg Association is a group of Ellensburg locals that host routine functions around town for community members to enjoy, and one of their most well-known annual events is called Ladies' Night. It is hosted in the springtime every year, and it is where most Ellensburg local businesses open their doors for a few hours in the evening and offer special deals and discounts on their goods and services to encourage women to gather and socialize with one another. For more information on events hosted by the Ellensburg Downtown Association, check out their website using the listed URL on the slide. The sixth and final facet of holistic health is spiritual health. Regardless of how we imagine ourselves connected to the world we live in, we all do, in one way or another, imagine ourselves being connected to the earth. It can feel extremely isolating and frightening to not have the opportunity to dis discuss our belief system with others and share like-minded faith. For most childbearing individuals, the topic of faith is highly prevalent due to the nature of pregnancy. Pregnancy is how life is made, and it can be very comforting to be around others that support you in your growing baby through the journey of childbearing and beyond. One way to do this is through attending faith-based gatherings. Ellensburg has a church for most practice religions, and individuals are always welcome and encouraged to reach out and connect with these organizations. Ellensburg is primarily populated with individuals who practice the Christian faith. A popular church group is named the Ellensburg Calvary Church and offer multiple church services throughout the week, as well as child care during the service. On their website is more information about their organization's practice beliefs, as well as times and dates of the services that are offered. Thank you for listening to my presentation today. That concludes everything that I had to offer. I hope you learned a thing or two. And here's the sources available that I used in order to gather up information for my presentation.